Today we are going to make paneer butter masala. Take your tomatoes, onions, garlic and green chilies. Boil them well. Boil them so well that they become very soft and they become mushy so that we can make the paste. See how easily the onion is getting separated. This is the texture we need for grinding. Now grind it very well. Okay, coarse grainy it's up to you but grind it very well soak some of the cashews now add in your aromatic spices which will be given in the description and your paste see how it's bubbling then mix it very well see it will be bubbling the bubbling is because of the water in the paste keep it stirring so that it doesn't stick to the bottom close the lid put it in a simmer or a medium high in the meantime we'll fry our paneer or cottage cheese pieces very light browning has to be done not very dark after some time we'll see the thickening of the paste of the masala of the gravy which will we are creating here see how thick nice consistency it has become keep on stirring and after some more time see how thick it has become because the water has been reduced don't add more oil because if we add more oil then it will become more oily keep on stirring it will it will take time guys see after some time the paste is begin to dance in the vessel because of the oil now ultimately it has become brown add in your red chili paste red chili masala your haldi or turmeric and salt mix it very well see how dark saturated and caramelized it has become now add in your water because ultimately this is the starter the starter paste now see if you add water it will become nice thick and glossy add in your cashew nut paste which we have soaked it earlier okay mix it very well and slowly now see how the color changes the color changes gradually and drastically see you can add a little bit of water if you want a more amount of gravy as i've added when the gravy starts to bubble and the oil starts to separate as we can see around the edges add in your cottage cheese or the paneer coat it well mix it well because we are making the paneer butter masala gravy slowly in a simmer coat everything mix very well ah with gently because gently is the key add in your fenugreek leaves or kasuri methi because the flavor it will enhance the aroma and yes eat with puri roti 